all right so hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, today we are doing another static structural analysis and this time we have a bracket now the dimension of the bracket is uh, very simple so it's 50 mm deep and 100 mm uh, height and the width is 60 mm so you can use the design modeler and design it simply and then it has a uh, two holes for mounting on the bottom and it has a 30 mm hole on the base plane like this one and then the uh, fillet radii for this one are 10 mm and 20 mm for the corners also the bearing is subjected to load components of uh, if I go to my model you can see the force of 550 500 newton minus 1700 newton and 3500 newton in the respective direction the base is fixed you can see the fixed support and then we will calculate the total deformation equivalent stress and structural area all right so let's start with the design i'll close this this also and i will delete my project all right, so let's start with the static structural. We can call it analysis of bracket. Okay, we'll keep the engineering data to the default material, which is a structural steel. So let's start with the geometry by double clicking on it and it will invoke the design modeler. All right, the first thing that we always do in design modeler is set the units to millimeter. Then select XY plane, say look at, and we'll go to sketching and go for a polyline. Now we can start from here and simply sketch our profile. Right click and go for close in. Now you can see this edge is uh, inclined, so I will just go for constraint, horizontal, and select that edge. That's perfect. And then we can go for dimension, general, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then we will go for uh, 50 mm for this age, 10 mm, this is also 10, this could be 100. Now right click in the graphic area and go for zoom to fit. And then we can change our sketching mode to modify and go for a fillet of 10 mm for this corner and 20 mm for this corner. Alright, I think that completes the sketch. From here, we can go to extrude and we'll select our geometry, apply. We want to add the material and in the direction, I will select both symmetric and 30 mm so means 30 mm in one direction and 30 mm in the other that's what we wanted 60 mm so generate and here you have the model now to get the curve part on this face we are going to utilize the blend fixed radius and in the radius we'll go for 30 mm and select one edge press control and second edge go for apply and generate nice and easy right all right so we'll s s s sketch the hole on this face so for that what we can do is we'll select face this one right click go for look at and switch to sketching go for a circle start a circle give it a dimension and uh, the circle point from here as well as this point from here all right so the first diameter is 30 this length is also 30 and this one is 55 all right so then we'll go for extrude now this time operation We'll go for cut material. 
and yeah we will go for generate and there you go the whole cut is done now after that what we can do is we can select this face say look at zoom in a bit and then we will go for sketching again select circle draw two circles over here switch to dimension we'll give a diameter dimension and distance from this edge and distance from this edge we'll repeat the same thing for the other circle as well all right and then we will edit the values so 10 mm is dia this is also 10 mm now all this distance are 15 okay so from here we can go for extrude and we want to cut the material so we'll go for operation and change it to cut and then generate now our model is ready that's the model for the analysis and then we can close the design modeler from here and then start the mechanical window by double clicking on the model cell okay the first thing that we will do in the mechanical window is obviously we're going to check the units so in the home tab itself we'll go to units and see it's uh, mm kg that's fine now we can go for mesh and right click go for generate mesh so it will give you the default mesh and if you see the number of elements and number of nodes you can come to details of mesh and check it you can also see the sizing so minimum edge length is 10 mm and stuff like that now we'll fix the base of this one so let's go for static structural right click insert go for fix support select this face apply all right also we will add the force so let's go for static structural again and go for force on this face all right select apply now we want it to be defined by components and the x component is 5500 minus 1700 for y and for the z it's 3500 right now here we have the definition of our force now we will uh, define the solution what solution do we want so we'll come to solution right click insert we can go for total deformation we can go for stress equivalent and we can go for stress error right let's solve this okay let's see the total deformation so we have a total deformation of 1.42 on this uh, corner or this uh, area of the bracket and if you see the equivalent stress it's mostly on the curved uh, face of our model and if you look at the structural error it's also on the on the place where the curve and the base is coinciding so what we can do is we can refine the mesh in this area and we might get a uh, pretty much uh, decrease in the stress so for that we can go for mesh right click insert sizing for the geometry let's select the whole body apply and the element size we can go for let's say 4 mm and solve
okay so if we see our mesh it's more refined now and if we come to our structural stress it's a bit it's a bit concentrated in those region earlier it was scattered but now it's more concentrated and if we see the structural error it's uh, gone to a uh, little less as you can see only the structural error it's showing is over this face where the fixed support and the curves curve is meeting so what we can further do is we can refine uh, mesh refinement on this face only and then we can uh, see the changes in the result and for the total deformation it's not much more uh, change so yeah that's it for this tutorial i hope you understand the logic behind using the body sizing and uh, the structural error right so structural error basically gives you the idea where you want where you uh, where you need to refine the mesh more now i cannot uh, refine the mesh for my model because it's limited to the uh, student in the student version it's limited so if you have the proper professional version you can further refine it and uh, you can comment your values and stuff like that all right i hope you guys like this video and comment down if you have any doubts in this one and subscribe if you're watching this thank you guys peace out